jump up here. Um, there's a boulder. <coughs> Literally a green... <coughs> sorry, excuse me. A green boulder that's obviously going to come down at some point. Probably not this way, though. Can I go on the other side of here? Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. Ah, uh, uh, shit, I might have saved before putting those plugs in. If that's the case, I'll make a cut. Right, at least I didn't lose health this time. Uh, I'm going to check over here. Uh, is that a... No, that's not a door we can actually get through, to be honest. Actually, I don't think that's even a door at all, is it? it looks like it should be, but Lara's not running on it, so... Yeah. Anyway, make a save. I think I know where to go. Right, yeah. Oh, the so the Tomb Raider Trilogy remaster. So they've released more details in it and more sort of like uh, screenshots of the features they're going to put in it. It looks pretty freaking good. Uh, I mean... It's got like the stuff I'll probably like. It's got stuff like photo mode and all this extra stuff I probably won't use, but but it looks good. Like, um... oh shit, ah, whatever. Um, yeah, it's got you know they've added like some quality of life features in there, like modern controls, which are, I don't know how they're gonna do the modern controls though. Well, can you like fully rotate Lara with the analog stick? But I can't see that working with the grid system this game has. So that's going to be interesting. But knowing me, I'll stick with the tank controls. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I've actually got, to be honest, like, when I first started Tomb Raider 1, I thought the controls were, you know, they're, yeah, it's not great. Tank controls aren't great for a third person game, but I've got used to them pretty quickly. Uh, I don't know why I hesitated. I wanted to jump that platform. Right, sorry about this. Yeah, I got used to the tank controls pretty quickly. And I actually went back to the PS1 version of Tomb Raider 1. And uh, the controls are a lot clunkier than Tomb Raider 2's. But I think that's just down to the... Because uh, the version I played was the power version. And so it ran a lot slower. So the input must have been a lot worse. Not a lot worse, but obviously not as like fluid as you know the optimized version that we're playing right now because uh this is the PAL version of Tomb Raider 2 but it's like optimized to play at full speed it just has like less frames than the American version right let me test something all right so that's not possible so I can't go back and jump it so, so you're seeing a lot of like game over screens. <laughs> Not game over, but deaths. Uh, death screen. Oh, whatever. But yeah, I think after playing the PC version of Tomb Raider 1, I can't go back to the PS1 version of Tomb Raider 1. Because uh, going back to the PAL version, the slow version, is really, really difficult now. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think we got to. You got no time to do anything. Oh, I know. What's, sorry, I was being stupid. I don't know what to do. Figure that out, cause it's obvious. No, it's not obvious. But so I'm changing shit. No, I gotta roll and then hang off the edge while the boulder comes down. I think. Let's try that again. No, Lara stops. Uh, you'd think at this point she'd wear better shoes to stop sliding down on fucking platforms and shit. Right, gotta roll and then hang off the edge. There we go. What the fuck? Just look like the boulder just came back. Ah, oh, never mind. Right, what have you got for me now, game? What have you got? Uh, nothing? Uh, is there something on the other side of here? 
No. Can I go down there by any chance? No, I can't hang off that edge there. There's nothing down there either. Ah, huh, there was no point. Okay. Can I climb on the top of that? I doubt it. Uh, I mean, I guess I can jump over there, I suppose. Uh, see something down there on the left of my platform there. And another statue. Uh, right. Lara, can you make that jump over there? I think you can, but you weren't very good at grabbing those... Uh, what is made out of, like, emerald or something? Right, let's put it to the test. I'm gonna... I'll make a save so I don't do the whole boulder stuff again. Yeah. Oh yeah, something else I wanted to talk about. Something I've noticed. Um, oh, I can't grab it. Yeah, it seems people struggle to understand the difference between a remake and a remaster. And, do you know what? I think ever since the whole Crash Bandicoot... Yeah, alright music. Alright, scary. Yeah, I know. Uh, I feel like I should be going down there, though. Maybe that's where I am going. Yeah, ever since the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy came out, like, the whole remaster uh, thing got a bit tricky to understand. Like, a remake is when... You take a game and you just build it. So I just dropped something. You build it from scratch. You know, replacing like voice acting, graphics, uh, but still the sort of same game. Like you know, Resident Evil One remake. That's a good example. Uh, but some people just call that a remaster for some reason. No fuck's sake! I wanted to. Why did she delay? I wanted to drop onto that platform. Ah, uh, never mind. And the uh, remaster is basically taking the game as it is and like upscaling it, or adding some bit of like graphical improvements here and there. But it's essentially the same game. Like, like the Tomb Raider remasters is a good example. Uh, the Last of Us remasters is a good a good example. But it's weird because the Resident Evil One remake, like everyone just calls that a remaster, but it's actually a remake of the night 1996 game. But it was remade on the GameCube. But the GameCube remake was remastered for modern consoles. I think that's pretty much where the confusion came from, I think. Um, like Resident Evil 2 and 3, I don't even count those as remakes, to be fair. They're reimaginings, and they're reimaginings, and I won't be convinced otherwise. Because <laughs> um, they don't resemble the original games, like, at all. Oh, I like how I just dropped on the item and Laura just picked it up straight away. <laughs> right, did I do the right thing here? What was that? Something's, something's come to life. Yeah, I was thinking, was I supposed to come down this way? Yeah, statue came to life, didn't he? Uh, right. Right, right, right. Am I supposed to be here? Because that zip line was going to take me somewhere else completely. Yeah. But no, did you get it though? That's pretty much like what a remaster remake is. And a reimagining is kind of like, um... Ah, uh, good example I can think of. You know, uh, do you remember Ratchet and Clank 2016? That was a reimagining. Not a remake. Because that had changed up the story and stuff, and that, that's what... Oh, that was scary. He was... Just looked like he was, like, teleporting. Ah, uh, but he feels stupid. He didn't even get a hit on me. He was just, like, stuck on the... On the roof. Ah, what a dumbass. Right. Uh... That's gonna be too sloped. 
Damn, I've, I don't think I've been this stumped for a level in a long time, to be honest. Now, I can actually get in there by the looks of it, but this, uh, this bit here is going to be sloped. Yeah. I'm going to make another save because I know for sure I'm going to die again. <laughs> but yeah, Resident Evil 2 and 3, uh, those quote-unquote remakes. Uh, yeah, I don't like them at all because... Never really addressed this properly, but I'll address it now. Uh, yeah, basically when Resident Evil 2 Remake was announced... Oh shit, I actually made the jump. Okay. Um, when it was announced, I was expecting it to be in the same vein of, as Resident Evil 1's remake, and I was severely disappointed when I found out that wasn't the case. Uh, right, I was just thinking of something, you know, the zip line. Uh... What if the zipline led to the secret? Oh shit. Shit, I think I fucked out. Fucked out, sorry. Fucked up on her secret then. Oh, never mind. Uh, right. Yeah, sorry, the um. Oh shit. Okay, I think I. Yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> Ah, uh, cool. Now oh, that was clever. Yeah, I was uh wanted to check the zip line, and if that leads to somewhere where I think it's going to be a main progression, I'm going to go back to the other place because that I don't know where. See again, I'm saying I'm not bothered about the secrets, but now I'm actually curious. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of want it as an accomplishment, so to speak. <laughs> uh, right. Okay, let's try and jump without falling to my death. Ah, oh, Lara, come on. Oh, shit. I'm dropping stuff left, right, and center. Come on, Lara, be reasonable. Can you actually... Get over there without... Why should I say in that? Can I... No, I can't climb up there. Or maybe I can. Oh, I can. Okay. Completely missed that part. Right, I'll come back there when I... When I check what's... Where the zipline takes me. Right, that's perfect. Because now the zipline isn't even there. The fuck? Ah, uh, yeah. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, I see the stone dragon over there. Ah. Uh, Damn it. Yeah, I think I missed out on the stone dragon. It's right over there, and I think the zip line was meant to take us to the secret. Yeah. Um, or maybe there's another way. I don't know. Maybe there is. I don't know. Um, God, this level's getting a bit complex. It's either it's getting complex or I'm making it complex. Uh, maybe... See if I... No, I want to shimmy across game. Can you actually fucking function for once? My god. <laughs> so I'm not getting pissed off. I promise. Uh. Oh, look at this shit. Come on, Lara. Fuck's sake. Right. Um. Yeah, I think the problem... No, I can't. Um... Because if I shimmy across, there's nothing to actually drop down to. Oh, I can't even drop down there either. Nope, no, I'm on something here. Oh, shit. 
Ah, forget it. Right, um... I could consider trying this. If this doesn't work, then, uh... Yeah, forget it. No, do what you did before. Hang on. Oh, now I can't even jump over that. I just did it once, so, um... Hang on. Oh, now Lara doesn't want to do it. For fuck's sake. Right. There we go. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, she was going to die from that fall anyway. Ah, forget it. Right, there's got to be... Yeah, see, I think I screwed up, because where is that zip line meant... Was that zip line a trap, actually, now thinking about it? Or does Lara go through there and then get the stone dragon? That... I've been trying to, like, jump over the bridge, but landing on that platform there just leads to an instant death, so I don't even... I don't even know, to be honest. There's got to be something around here, surely. I can't shimmy, like... That bridge down there, can I... I don't think I can, I don't... Because that's going to be sloped and I couldn't get there from hanging off the edge. Maybe I can actually... You know, like, find something with these trees um, hiding something. Um, hmm, maybe I can... Uh... Oh, hang on, there was a bit of a ledge there. Hang on. Ah, hello. Oh. Okay, maybe I should get a... I don't trust this. Uh... Oh, shit, hang on. Oh, that's how you get to the stone dragon. Alright, well, I figured that out. Uh, cool. Oh, I'm pretty proud of that. Is there... Can I... No, I don't think that's happening. Lara's definitely not going to grab that. Uh, sorry, I did a lot of cuts and that in between. I'm trying to figure out that whole zipline thing, and then I just... Yeah. I say I don't care about the secrets, but then my curiosity gets the better of me. So, um... Right, so that area we were at before, where I uh, think he was... Um... I think that's where we're actually meant to go, because I thought that led to the secret, but then I thought that zipline led to the secret, but I think, from the looks of it, that actually looks like, a, if I didn't drop down and get that medikit, then I think that would have been a trap. Very cheeky at that level, but no, I'm glad I got the stone dragon in the end. Uh, contradicting myself, saying I don't care about the secrets, and yeah, right. Okay, let's actually progress, because I'm actually an hour into recording now, um, embarrassingly. Uh, I could just jump here, right? Oh, I thought I was going to jump into that pit. Right, okay, back here again. Now, let's see if I can actually uh, make this jump. Yeah. This could be another three-hour flipping level, for all I know, but the fact that I found two secrets already, but then again... The secrets in Temple of Xi'an was sort of... A, oh, shit. Okay, uh... I've, that was embarrassing. Don't know what to say to that. Oh, I might go down and get a drink, actually. Hour into recording already. Uh, it's early in the morning. I'm, I'm still... I'm actually really fatigued from that uh, class I was talking about. So basically what it was, I didn't actually explain it. It's like called combat conditioning, so I do a bit of live boxing classes on the side alongside kickboxing and stuff like that. Um, so basically, uh, there was a new class called... Oh, why can't she grab that? There was a, there's a class I'm doing called com Combat Conditioning. It's like, I do it once in a while, but it's basically it focuses on like cardio stuff. And my cardio isn't the greatest, and the class like wiped me out a little bit. Um, but no, I enjoyed it. It was, it was hard work, but man, I felt great after. Ended up uh, making myself a really nice meal afterwards. Right, uh, I've got a bad feeling that grab I did there originally was a bit of a, a fluke. Uh, shit, I can't even grab it now. Fuck. Sorry, you're going to be seeing these game over screens a lot. I apologise for that. I've I think I've died in this level more than any freaking level in this series so far, Tomb Raider 1 and 2. I don't remember dying this much. 
Uh, that's also counting the deaths I'm not including on screen, like the part in the beginning. I was dying quite a lot. Uh, right, what am I doing? What? What did I do before to grab that ledge then? Huh. Uh, just check outside before I heard something then. Ah, gonna have, gonna need a death counter for this, but then again, I'm just probably not gonna bother counting. <laughs> Uh, platforming wise I think this is the trickiest uh, I guess what did I do before did I stand there and do the grab I think maybe maybe I've got to be right at the edge uh, the edge of this and then literally because I don't want to hit that uh, the top part there you see yeah I might have to uh um, I have to play this smart. Maybe I've got to sort of like, because Lara can sort of move while she's mid-air, but not really, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, I'm getting a bit of a headache now. It's just randomly coming on. Alright, I'll try that one more time, and if I don't get it, I'll make a cut until I actually uh, get it right. Right, maybe. Oh, hold on a minute. No, she didn't grab. Okay, I'll I'll make a car and I'll uh, get to the bit where I actually do grab the the ledge. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. So I've been trying to attempt this. Uh, I'm getting a bit fed up now, to be honest. I don't know what I did the first time to grab it. It's got to be the trickiest uh, platforming bit I've done in this bloody game. Yeah, I'll try that once more, but I think. I'm struggling to sort of like figure out what I did the first time to grab that. How the hell? Like you'll be really bloody. See, I can't grab it now. That's just. I don't know why. Hmm. What did I do the first time to get this? Because I can't get that grab done anymore. Ah, oh, right. I'm. I've got a feeling that I wasn't supposed to do that earlier because when I remember that area I've been in before, there wasn't any way it looked like I was supposed to come back from there, um, strangely enough. And now I'm kind of worried because um, I went back to check out that zip line as well. And I could actually drop onto that bridge that's underneath that bridge. So I've got a really bad feeling I might have broken the level actually. Uh, yeah, that bridge there. Unless... Actually, no, hold on. Wait, sorry, I, was, I wasn't using my brain then. Oh, wait, no. No, I can't... Ah, oh, damn it, I can't... What the fuck? Ah, oh, I'm... I've never been so stumped at a Tomb Raider level. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, what I've done wrong. I think I've broken the level, uh, which is it's concerning. But if that's the case, then because I went back to the zipline, the zipline hasn't reset or anything. I don't, I don't actually know. Uh, if that's the case, I might have to redo this level then. I'll, because I'm really tempted to get a guide up now because. I've spent literally nearly half an hour just running in circles. And it's getting really frustrating to the point where I can I eat. Oh, come on, like you can fucking die from that. Come on. That's just the game automatically just saying no, don't go down there that way. Ah, oh, this is um I'm gonna spend another. I'm gonna spend a bit of time trying to figure out what to do, and if no, I don't want to look at a guide because that's just not the way I do things. But I'm getting fucking frustrated with this level. There's a lot of stuff I'm keeping off screen that frustrating me, but I just I can't figure this out at all. Was there anywhere I can get from the secret? Maybe. Uh. Maybe I can. 
but if I have to if I have to fix something because of a secret then that's just bad level design in my opinion right uh, suppose I could no it's not happening I said it before I can't because you see that zip line I could have easily just dropped on that bridge Maybe no. Look, see the zip line's finished. Yeah, but listen, I don't, I don't get that. I don't understand. There's got to be enough. There's got to be something I'm doing wrong here. Because there is no way. Because if I've broken the level, that's a really easy way to break the level. Then, if that's the case. That's just, that is just borderline frust, not borderline, that's just frustrating. Because the only bit I think I, could, I should do is just try and make that jump again, but I just can't do it. Ah, right, I'll be right back. Yeah, zipline's not there. Ah. Uh. I've got a bad feeling I've bugged the game, <laughs> or bugged the level rather. Because uh, I tell you what, I did look a look up a guide, and going down there was the only way to do it. Uh, this is fucking unbelievable. Oh, hold on a second. Oh great, yeah, fall to your death, why don't you? Uh, all right, so um, I went and looked to the guide, and from what I can actually tell, I think I've encountered a I've encountered a bug where um, see the zip line is meant to reset, I think, uh, but it's not happening. So I think I bugged the level, and I'm gonna have to restart the whole thing, which I'm uh, not happy about, pissed off about it, but. Because I've spent over half an hour trying to get to that platform, and that platform over there was actually the way back, so, um, yeah, I'm a bit pissed off about that. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I've got to do all that again, and I've wasted an hour and a half doing all this for nothing, so I'm going to end the session here, and I'll come back to this point when I've actually got this right. So, yeah, sorry about that.